and welcome back to my LP on EVO, The Search for Eden. Uh, this will be part five, and we are starting uh, in what sh something that looks a lot like uh, pretty much the world map, <laughs> kind of. But uh, it's got uh, Africa there, and well, I guess that's Australia. We must be in like part of Asia here. It's uh, I guess it's when it was closer to being a Pangaea or whatever. But anyways, uh, let's continue on with the game. Uh, so we're here on the ice coast, and uh, I'm not gonna bother. Nah, shit, I should. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and get that crystal. Might as well show you guys some information on you know what to expect in the uh, in this upcoming stage or world or level, whatever you want to call it. EVO tip: Evolution is slowing down in this age. Reptiles change very little, and they will have few enemies. You must be careful. Evolution is slow among the mammals. You will struggle against strong enemies. Someday you may evolve into a creature known as a human being. Ooh. That should be awesome. Awesome blossoms awesome. Uh, so we'll go to the left, because, it's, well, it's the only other place to go, really. Uh, and we're going to go into the Cave of Judgment. Again, sounds uh, familiar. We had to do that in the fish stage. Uh, and here, as you see, oh, we are very happy living without fear of our enemies. Although we have weak bodies, Syracosaurus family over there has something to tell you. Okay, pretty uh, straightforward. I was told by Gaia to give you the power to become a mammal. I was also ordered to check to see if you deserve to become a mammal. In order to make you a mammal, we have to use some of our spirit power called hope from our people who have been defeated. I must judge you. Don't judge me! Congratulations, you deserve to become a mammal. You will not be able to return to the form you are in now if you decide to become a mammal. How will you choose? And obviously we're going to become a mammal. I got it. Great power. Give this creature a new body for this era. Now there you go. We'll call this the uh, the mammal era. Oh yeah, and I'm a badass looking cat rat thing. But as you can see, you have some hind legs that you can use, and uh, you, it's pretty useful actually. As you uh, evolve your body, you can uh, get a lot stronger legs too, like rhinoceros and horse legs, and they're pretty savage. They 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 kick ass. Take names. But anyways, we'll uh, leave there, and we'll go backtrack a little bit, go to the new area here. And this will be the cave of Delta Diem. Delta Burke. I don't even really know who she is. Who really cares? A couple of dead rats to eat his food, and rumor from Delta Diem. I'm afraid there are still dinosaurs alive. They will not be able to withstand the cold. They will perish soon. I would be more interested in a white two-legged creature living in the West Continent. They are defeating the mammals, trying to evolve. I'm so scared. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah, we've seen these in the dinosaur era near the end. Uh, was it the dinosaur era? I think it was something like that. But, uh... Oh yeah, by on the fucking uh, that other mountain that was there. Oh, you see that? Rear kick with the legs, midair kick that delta diem rat thing out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of here, stupid rats. And well, I couldn't go back. Keep going to the right again, so I'm just going to leave. I guess I had to come in and hear the rumor about the two-legged white creature. Hmm. Racist? No, <laughs> no, it's not racist at all. You'll you'll see what they mean. <laughs> and onward to the next cave. And 
door to Mount Snow. Well, it's original name there, Mount Snow. Anyways, I could climb over Mount Snow. Oh, yeah, that's probably what I forgot to do. Okay, I can do that in the next uh, part. But for now, we're going to go in here and uh, check out what's in here. A few mushrooms. Whoa, some of those lizard things. Get out of here, dude. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to skip these guys. They're, they're, yeah, they obviously get angry. Look at that one dude. Still follow me. Shit. But here's where we're going to go to next. Oh, I've been discovered. We survive with much difficulty. Leave us alone. Look how much bigger you are than me, dude. But uh, I'm going to show you how to, how I like to go about uh, killing these dudes. Yeah, see, you can use your feet and kick them like that, but it's only worth it the uh, one damage for now. And, uh, well, I <laughs> just keep them coming after me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, great. I like how the video got a little bit laggy there for a second, too. That was kind of gay. Yeah, I know. You're naked. You're hot. And your hair is trippy. So, let's continue on. Let's try this again, and hopefully this time I won't die. Now, this time I'll show you uh, <laughs> how to go about uh, beating the Triceratops easily, and uh, how to get yourself some quick EVO points. Um, yeah, because if you get the Jaws, the Jaws have a pretty bad kickback. I mean, yeah, the you know kicking the creatures or whatever uh, you know has a bit of a kickback as well, but. I find usually once you get the strong jaws, not as bad as the jaws do. The jaws, I don't know why, when you bite something, it gets knocked back. I mean, what the fuck? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, I bit you. Oh, my God. I just flew back ten feet. But anyways, for now, I'm probably going to bite because, well, it keeps them nice and close. And uh, I'm also getting two damage instead of the one that I'm getting with my uh, hind legs. And what was I calling them? Back feet? Jesus. Anyways, yeah. If you do this right, you can keep going back and forth here and getting two, you know, make them uh, respawn over and over again. And then you can get killed two at a time, which is much nicer because then you can get 180 EVO points instead of the usual 90 that you get just from the one. So it's a little faster, again, if you do it right. But, uh, okay, what am I going to change first? Okay, I need a lot more yet. I need enough, um points in order to, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go straight for the evolution to get a human, I'm completely skipping, uh, or not worrying about getting like, um, you know, the body of a horse, and legs of a rhinoceros, and getting horns, and getting antlers of a moose, or, you know, fuck all that bullshit, I mean, it's cool and stuff, if you want to fuck around, and believe me, you'll have more than enough EVO points by the time you're finished this, and you can stack up as much EVO points just to fuck around, but, um, I'm going to go straight for the human uh, evolution uh, in this game just because, well, it makes the game much easier. And honestly, like like I said, it's fun to experiment, but this is not the game to experiment with. I mean, if you're just going to try to finish the game, it's easiest and fastest to do it with the human just because there's so many advantages. And anyways, I'll, I'll just skip that for now because obviously you will see what I mean. Uh, once I get uh, to that evolutionary stage, which we should get to uh, by the end of this uh, video, so uh, you'll definitely know what a human looks like uh, before this video is finished. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm up to what 455 EVO points. That's not too bad. It's a good start. I need 500 just for the uh, for the rabbit. Uh, body, which will give me new legs, new hind legs, and uh, big benefit right away. And I'm also going to get the jaws of a cat, I believe it is. So first I'm going to get the rabbit shaped body. Ta-da! And next, well, oh yeah, uh, I did leave out one part. I did get uh, cat... Uh, cat like jaws because in order to evolve you yeah, I know it's weird and you'll see the little hints that they give throughout the game as uh, we proceed further through uh, but basically in order to evolve into a human which 
once you get the cat-like jaws and the rabbit-like body, you uh, can evolve into Ramothecus, which is a type of monkey. And, uh, well, I'll show you right now. It, yeah, Ramothecus is a type of monkey, and obviously humans evolve from monkeys, so that's how you pretty much evolve into a human. So right now you don't have the other choice of evolve further, so we're going to go obviously go with the 5,000 point Ramothecus body. Oh yeah, look at that, little monkey dude, I will bite the shit out of you, look how far he jumps to. Alright, actually, let's see, oh, there we go. Hind legs, fucking doing 5 damage, the bite's doing 10. And that's because I just switched to a monkey, and I mean, and, uh, I believe the cat jaw's done 3 damage, if I remember correctly. And the rabbit legs done, um, 4 damage, Jesus. Anyways, we have the evolutionary points. I saved up to 10,000, which, yes, it, it took a little bit, but uh, it was worth it. There we go. Now I'm a big-ass monkey. Look at that. I'll still bite you for 10 points. I'm not taking half as much damage, and, yeah, I'm obviously not going <laughs> to use my hind legs very well there against them. So, there we go. 7 damage with the hind legs. So, anyways, now that I got him killed, eat some meat. And let's evolve further. Yeah, let's go for one more time. I think that might be... Oh, no, no, no. Almost. <laughs> now I'm a fucking monkey, dude. Oh, yeah, I'll beat the shit out of you with a bone. Look at him where he's holding the two, too. That's so funny looking. <laughs> I'm gonna get you my bone. So, yeah, as you can see, being able to stand upright and use a tool like, you know, the bone... Uh, club, I guess you want to call it. Look at that, 12 damage. Screw you, Triceratops. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I will eat the trees. Look at him, he looks awesome. So, uh, yeah, got another 2,000 points. I should be able to evolve another time. Let's just beat the shit out of these pigs. Oh, uh, whoa, one smack. One hit. <laughs> one smack. One hit, and they're, uh, and they're pretty much dead, so that's that's cool. Well, run away, little piggy. Let's evolve one more time. And now we are pretty much a human, or at least a homo sapien of some sort. Homo erectus. He's got a savage bone. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had to say it. Erectus, I mean, Jesus. Uh, grab another green crystal. And beat the shit out of this pig. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. The club now does 18 damage. And, yes, you can evolve, I think, one more time. Oh, yeah, look at this bird. I think he's going to get the best of me. Screw you. Oh. Whoa, nice. 70 EVO points. So, yeah, I think I need another 2,000 in order to evolve further. But I'm not going to ruin uh, the uh, surprise of what happens once you evolve them one more time. So, And, no, you're not going to get a gun, so don't expect one. But anyways, we finally exited that part of the stage. Uh, it wasn't as long for you guys as it was for me, so. Um, Domain of Hynodon. Which is, I guess, a kind of hyena, but it looks kind of like a dog to me. And, wow, they're easy to kill as well. And, wow, worth 100 EVO points each. That's great. I guess I know where I'm going to come and get, uh, well, not really, though. The uh, Triceratops are probably a bit easier now. Even the pigs are probably a bit faster. I can't beat down this wall of ice. So, uh, look, I'm running, all angry looking. Oh, holy shit, I'm gonna bash your skull in. So, uh, actually, I'm not sure if I have to go back in here or not, so. Uh, let's lit back up again. Yeah, fuck it, let's go back up in there again. I don't know, uh, again, it's been a while since I actually got to play this game all the way through, so. Some of the things I am forgetting about. Okay, no, it's just the hyenas again. Not a big deal. Oh, nice. I can jump on them for three. Whoa. Look, <laughs> when I get hit, my eyes pop. Whoa. <laughs> pop right out of my head or something. That's kind of fun to watch. So, uh. Look, I'm getting all angry. What? This is door of ice. It's too heavy to. Ah, look at this. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's awesome. His eyes bug right out, right? Imagine running into a wall and your eyes just like fall out. Like, holy fuck. No, my eyes. And the backgrounds look pretty nice there, too. Those mountains were done fairly well for, you know, back in the SNES days. This game looks pretty good all together, to be quite honest. I mean, everything looks great. They didn't leave out, you know, any detail. I mean, look at the backgrounds here. Yeah, I know, you're like the fucking Triceratops. You lived through much difficulty and leave you alone. I'd screw you, Brontosaurus guys. So I'm just going to run through here, bash the shit out of these guys. But yeah, look at the volcanoes and stuff in the back. And, you know, just, uh, I guess, the jungle in the, in the uh, not the foreground, the background, Jesus. Um... But yeah, this game does look real nice, and, and it is fun to play, I mean, honestly, I, I can't see anyone not really having fun with this game, there's just so many different aspects to it, I mean, it's a platform, you know, it gets you curious with the whole evolutionary things, because I'm pretty sure you can make, like, legit, uh, you know, animals if you pick all the right parts, like I said, there's a way to also make a mermaid, um, you can become an eel, a bat, a fucking uh, manta ray, uh, I'm pretty sure you can become a frog of some sort, uh, there's like, like I said, there's a bunch of different things you can evolve into, and I can see, you know, anyone wanting to, uh, play this just for that reason alone, so, I mean, oh, damn, look at this, more dinosaurs, oh, the Yeti are coming, what, oh, my mistake, I feel better now, yeah, these guys are assholes, because they're really fast, and they hit you for 27 damage, please don't kill me, god damn, and they don't give back half as much goddamn health, though. So, yeah, as the Tyrosaurus just, you know, you know, let the cat out of the bag, more or less, there's a Yeti that we will uh, face eventually. That is the white two-legged creature. That's why I was saying, <laughs> is it racist? <laughs> but, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's that big, hairy Yeti. Um, so, no, it's not racist. <laughs> But it is, uh, it, it is one of the more uh, difficult parts uh, coming up, I guess. Uh, I think once you're a human, though, it's not too bad. Yeah, the worst thing probably about being the human is that, uh, it, you know, you do get hurt a lot easier in the, in the uh, later parts of the game. But uh, stuff can be compensated for. Uh, it's too hot for us mammals to survive here in the desert. Oh, okay. Well, I, I missed reading that. I'm sure somebody read that. <laughs> you guys can go back and read it. You, you know, you have a rewind button feature thingy in YouTube, so. There you go. Bash some, I don't know what you call them. They're, they almost look like tapers or something. I don't know. But I think I might have enough evolutionary points to uh, evolve again one more time, hopefully. Evolve further? Yes. Let's switch at that club for a nice stone axe. And can I evolve anymore? No, I cannot. So, we are fully evolved. This is our fully evolved human. Walking upright. Walking with a swagger. Walking with a stone goddamn fucking axe. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Uh, next time we will finish off this era and proceed to the next, uh, which is a little longer as well. But anywho, uh, I'm the Old World Gamer. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, favorite, share, do whatever you want. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.